for the future, riding a two-fight winning streak with a superb shoulder choke against Peter Coxon. Got a verbal submission out of the better and hardest nails, Bruno McCooley, in his last fight. And just showed he's just so dangerous wherever he goes as he steps into the Rhino Beer prep zone, introducing Rhino Beer. Extra bold, premium strength, just like Pete Saxon Capani. And I like this kid, Garrett. I like his style. I like his attitude. I like everything about him. He's an exciting fighter. And a gentleman prize fighter is Pete Saxon And he's going to put on a show tonight without a doubt, as he always does. He uses his name. He's so peaceful in his approach. I've had so many good conversations with him. I watched him when he was a youngster in the amateur scene. He was... He was scary even then, and he, as he is now, he's got the ability to go anywhere. He can grapple, he can strike so good. We saw that in the last fight. Strong right hand, he's calm and composed, and he goes about his work in a certain way. I said he has a very bright star. He's got a tough fight tonight against a guy who's just like him, rising the ranks and exciting. I think we're in for an incredible matchup, the display of two great sets of MMA and I think Beast has the ability to continue to make his start to rise. He's got a young guy up against him who wants it just as much. How bad does he want it? It's time to get tropical. Here comes our beer fans starting from Guts and Glory MMA in the incredibly gorgeous and stunning town of Polokwane in the province of Limpopo here in South Africa. Physically strong and athletic, great wrestler, very dangerous off his back. And working there at Guts and Glory with Jan and Rudy Roots, you can say in the background. And he's got this really hard working guys, he draws inspiration from people like Cameron Haynes and David Goggins. He's just an extremely hard worker, was a professional rugby player at the Leopards, started going to jiu-jitsu to stay in, stay in shape, started winning competitions and decided to make the switch to MMA. A fantastic wrestler with knockout power in his right hand, a very dangerous guy, very quick takedowns, good response, in and out the pocket, cracking fighter. Yeah, look, this guy has uh, put his hand up. He's so composed. He's also got a great demeanor in himself. He's so relaxed. He's trained with some of the best fighters. I mean, really rich, just such an exceptional athlete. And the word on the street is that Iga did a lot of their camp with these guys. So that means he's had high-level training partners, great wrestling background. Roots family, well established in the wrestling industry. They've done so much good work with so many good fighters over the years. They get the same results out of him. He's got a tough ask though. Peace is no slouch. He needs to make sure that he doesn't make mistakes. If he makes mistakes, Peace will, will punish him. But I think he's the right fight for Peace at this moment. Two stars that are about to collide and who's going to come out on top? This fight is brought to you by World Sports Betting. Bet with the best. Indeed, let's take a look at the World Sports Betting tail of tape. Four years older is Van Staden. Just a two-inch height advantage going to Peace on Gopane, but it's very interesting seven and a half inch reach advantage that goes to Van Staden. Very interesting world sports betting tale of the tape. So without further ado, let's get the official fighter introductions underway with Kotso Bilal Ramapo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of EFC 95. Three rounds in the EFC welterweight division. Introducing first, in the red corner, X marks the spot. A kickboxer with two wins, one loss. He stands at 5 foot 11, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa, I give to you peace and Gopane. And in the blue corner, it's time to go tropical. A mixed martial artist with three wins and two losses. He stands at five foot nine, weighing at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Bulukwane, South Africa, welcome. HP, 
Bobby Karajanidis. A lovely alley welcoming the first round of this welterweight bout. Whoever wins this may face Zico Makangele for the belt. Such a good main event. Yeah, it's like I said, it's the main event in any other card and any other promotion on the planet tonight, Gareth. It really is. Peace and Gopani in the all black shorts. And HP from Stardew in the black and green. Touchdown gets us underway. And this ground is presented by Dragon Energy, the exclusive energy drink of the EFC. Both very light on the feet. Good movement. This is all going to be about the footwork. HP looking for the shot. Please know that good right hand. Fired immediately. HP's gonna have to come behind some punches to get in on Peace. Peace a really good oh, oh, oh. Good left from HP as, as Peace came forward. Another left jab from RPF and Stardom. And another left overhand coming in. Oh, and a big right right hand. HP. Peace just watching a little bit too much. He can't be, come stagnant in front of HP. HP really, oh, big right oh, hand. That was a good right from HP from Stardom. He's in trouble. He's in a bit of trouble here. He's firing back though, is Ngopani. Good front kick from Peace. HP from Stardom looking for the tag down, but settles to go upstairs with a right hook. He's going to burn for the singles, trying to turn him around. Good control on the right side of Stardom's body by Peace and Gopani. Certainly able to recover from those strikes though. Excellent cage defense there by Peace. HP driving hard for that double. Got that underhook. Peace using the overhook to keep him up. Cross face against the face. Oh, good reversal. Immediately back to his feet. Brilliant work. HP looking tired all of a sudden. Peace really immediately on the offense. Looking for the looking for the arm. He's been starting. Let's go of it. Came loose in the scramble. He's got the neck now. Just using it to control. It's just the front headlock. Attacking the front guillotine. Pulling guard is HP from Stardom. Does he have the leverage? He's cranking on. That is tight. Peace is trying to push away on the arm of from Stardom to relieve the pressure. That is very tight. Oh, and he's oh. out. Good defense. Beautiful work from Peace from Gopani to get out of the net. Peace is maintaining good posture. He's in the can over to control HP's hips. Just be careful, can't leave an arm out there. Very slick off his back has been starting. Excellent wrestling exchange into some two quick submission attacks by HP. On the armbar immediately from the hunts of his back. Peace did exceptionally well to control the armbar. Slip out the arm and immediately go on the attack with some hammer fists. Great recovery from the party. Took a couple of shots. And was able to now reverse our here from Stardom and put it in a very nasty position. It started breathing very heavy though. Peace chipping away with those hammer fists. Throw control. Oh, just missed with the right hand. Trying to die, drive it down the middle. Sliced off the arm and went to the mat. Nice and patient is Uncle Pony. HP diving for the leg there, looking for a potential leg lock. Peace shuts it down immediately, dropping the, the hips down. He has the arm trapped there though. HP in a bit of trouble. Oh, it's a nasty elbow to the body. body. The He's looking for that left elbow. Good job to get the arm out there from Stardom. Got that guard control. Peace doing exceptionally well just to keep driving him back towards the fence, keeping him trapped. Oh, oh, big right shots hand. coming in from Ungapani now. Peace just manages. To get some heavy hands to missing twice there. Try to go down the middle. It's at these stages you've got to make them count. Oh, straight onto the armbar immediately. That looks tight. Right the arm is going to get dumped. He's still holding on though. His arm here from Stardom. Has it slipped through? Is the elbow through or is it still on? Getting done for the second time though. He's still that's, holding on to it. That's extended. Oh, that looks very tight. Good job to reel that back in. Let's go. Peace of 
Good defense. Stuffed, stuffed, stuffed the hips there, kept a lot of pressure. Didn't allow him to get that leverage. But it started always dangerous off his back, he's showing that. But then every now and again, Peace just drops a big one on him. Nasty body shot from Ongapani. It's been out all out action. Both guys on the attack. Interesting round to score, Gareth, at the moment. This is a three-round fight, not a five-round fight. Even though we're saying this could be main event status anywhere else. Both super active. Peace from the guard, a lot of elbows and body shots. Now there's a couple coming through straight away. Left the shot, 10 seconds left. It's making a shot for the round. He needs to. It's very close. Certainly finishing strong as a good party. Oh, big body He's shots. On. HP from starting very tired after those attacks though. But he stayed in it, arm bar. Onto the guillotine in the in first exchange, straight onto the arm bar. Another attack onto the arm bar again. He's taking some big punches though. A little bit of damage on the left eye. Let's take a look at the stonic corner cam, Gareth. Breathing heavy. Obviously, sort of keep the breathing. Stay composed. Just, just talk us through a stonic action replay, Gareth, because it was a cracking round. But stand up for Mark Piff and Stardom. It was yeah. really starting to light up on Gopani. He caught him so many times. I think he caught Peace by, by surprise. And then he was relentless onto the guillotine, which was really, really tight. And you could see Peace wincing, but he manages to drive his head out. Came with some hammer fists. HP set up the arm bar from the guard position. It was on very tight. You saw that. Slammed him a few times. Peace went on the attack to be to be defensive, which is sometimes the best solution when it is so tight.